What is the Hardy-Weinberg principle? In a large random mating population, gene and genotype frequencies remain constant in the absence of migration, mutation, and selection. B plus Q equal 1. B is the dominant, and we always use a capital letter, like a capital A for example. Q is the recessive, and we always use a small letter, like a small A for example. If we square the both sides of the equation of B plus Q equal 1, this will give us, due to the mathematical principles, B square plus 2PQ plus Q square equal 1. And this is called the binomial equation. B square is equal to homozygous dominant. And we refer it by double capital letters. For example, double capital A. Q square is the homozygous recessive. And we refer it by double small letter. For example, double small a. 2PQ is the heterozygous, one capital letter and one small letter, for example, capital A, small a. Now we will solve some genetic problems. Inheritance of a six-linked character, color blindness. As a color blindness is a six-linked trait, it is occurrence in males and females will be different. While the female population with two X chromosomes confers to the Hardy-Weinberg equation, the male group with only one X chromosome does not. It is thus necessary to calculate the frequencies of the alleles separately within the sexes. Calculate the proportion of the dominant and recessive alleles. Note that we have females with color blindnesses equal to 3, however, who do not have color blindnesses equal to 128. In males, we have color blindnesses equal to 4, however, who do not have color blindnesses equal to 134. Note that we have the female and the male. In female, we have the three kinds, normal, carrier, and color blindness. Who is normal in this equation, I colored the two X chromosomes by black. However, the carrier, I colored one of the X with red and the other with black. In color blindness, I color the two X with red. In male, we just have the two, normal and color blindness. I colored the normal with black and I color the color blindness with red. Males. We do not need for the genetic equations because males only have one X. Normal males is equal to 134 and the color blindness in males is equal 4. So only we have 4 recessive alleles in the males. In females, as I told you before, always remember to use these equations. P plus Q equal 1 and the binomial equation. The recessive in this equation is females who have the color blindness on the two chromosomes. The color blind females equal to 3. However, the normal is equal to 128, and it is referred to normal females and carriers. The total number of the color blindness and normal females is equal to 131. To get the homozygous recessive, you should divide the number of the color blind females over the total number, which will give you the Q square, and this will equal to 0.023. To get the P, we need to square root the Q square. First, Q equal to 0 0.152 and as we know that P plus Q equal 1, so P will equal 1 minus Q equal to 0 0.848. To get the homozygous dominant, double X, which is colored black, we need to square the P. P square will equal to 0 0.719 and we can multiply it by 100 to give us the percentage which is equal to 71.9. To get the heterozygous X red X black, we multiply 2PQ and this will give you 0 0.258. And if you multiply it by 100, it will give you 25.8%. And to get the number of heterozygous females, we multiply the total number 131, multiply by 0 0.258, which is give you 34 individual females. That's mean there's 34 individual females who are carriers. In females, there are two alleles, XX, and in males, there is only one allele, X, as I told you before in the question. So, the number of color blind alleles can be calculated 
by calculating the number of alleles. We know that we have two alleles in each homozygous recessive, females individual, and we have three females which are colorblind. So this will equal to three multiplied by two, and this will give you six alleles. Also, there is one allele in each heterozygote female, and we have 34 heterozygote female. So we have only 34 alleles. Total colorblind alleles in female will equal six from the homozygote recessive and 34 from the heterozygote, which give you 40 colorblind alleles. Total recessive alleles is equal to 40 in females and four in males, as we know that the males only have one X chromosome and there are four males which have color blind. So the total is equal to 44. The total normal alleles is equal to males 134, which are normal. And I told you before, males have only one X chromosome. So only we have 134 normal alleles within the males. To calculate the females, normal alleles, we multiply the total number of females by two because the females have two X chromosomes and then we subtract females color blind alleles. So it will equal to 131 multiplied by two. Then we subtract 40 from the number and this will give you 222. The total normal alleles is equal to 134 in males plus 222 in females and this will give you 356.